All right, it's time. I'm not even centered. What is this? What is this amateur production? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's been a long week, guys. It has. We're actually recording this on Friday. This video goes up Monday, as I talked about in the channel update from a week ago. Um, and as such, just to get one thing out of the way up front, I don't know for sure if we're going to be live tomorrow night, Tuesday. I'll be testing that this weekend, which is in the past when you watch this. It's complicated. But it's fine. some uh, family stuff came up on Michaela's side, so we're recording this in advance just to be safe and make sure it's ready to yeah. go. And so we're going to go through all the trailers and stuff today. I'll put something either in the comments on this video or just as a post on the YouTube channel as far as what's happening with the live stuff and what time is confirmed. I think it'll be 6 o'clock our time, which is 9 Eastern. But again, that'll be in the comments below and or on as a post on the channel, so you'll know for sure then. Here I have assembled six trailers, technically four trailers and two intro videos. I'll be honest, we're going to we're gonna shrink down to here. I did the wrong thing. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's been a long week. shrink down to here. <laughs> okay. I'm a little too, I see, I cropped this differently for the shot. Whatever. I can be out of frame. I'm tall. It's meant to be. <laughs> it's what you deserve. Um, we're going to watch them, not talk. Okay. And then we can go through and like we can pause at certain points and talk. We're not going to go frame by frame on these. We'd be here all night. But yes. we can we can freeze frame on a few different important spots. I, I would so. like that if we did because I will want to yell about things as I inevitably do. I have seen all these once now. I was hoping to maybe go in blind. But in reality, that was tough to do when I needed to get everything ready for this and also see what order to do them in because uh, that makes sense. I wanted to arrange them in a way that kind of makes sense. And I think I've done that. Cool. So we're going to go through all the trailers first, I think in the correct order, to be honest, and then the two openings. Sweet. And I'll be totally blind, so I can react yep. for both of us. You didn't even watch the announcement trailer? Because I watched that one when the game oh. was announced in the States. I don't uh, I don't think I watched that either. I, I've stayed away from as many spoilers and things about the game as possible, so I'm real blind. Okay. We're going to start playing these. I'm going to turn this down preemptively. One of these is super quiet. I'll try to adjust on the fly, and then we'll talk afterwards. They're cool. all like two minutes. Okay. So, yeah, that works. So this is the announcement trailer. This was played when the first game, or the game was first, rather, announced for the West. And I'm assuming when it was announced in Japan, too, but I don't know. I'm not in Japan. But anyways. Yeah. So this one's kind of an overview, and then it gets a little deeper after this. Okay. Okay, good start. <laughs> Technology is working. Good. Together we shall write the end to this wretched fairy tale. In ink, black as despair. Now, Reed, let us begin. In a world ablaze with war, heroes must unite. The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 4. Coming fall 2020. We're going to see this in Pre order all. now. Okay. <laughs> I think it's in all four trailers. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, so, uh, initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. Let me. Rufus. You know, that doesn't surprise me because I remember. There was like a weird at the end of the third game that the camera like s stayed on him for a second. And I was like, if he's the last one, I'm going to lose my shit. And now I'm losing my shit because sure enough, uh, it looks good, though. He, he Things good. are happening. There are going to be some mild spoilers in this. We can talk about them a little bit. I'm going to have this muted in the second go through as we talk about it. Okay. Um, for one thing, somebody in the comments pointed this out. And sure enough, I went and watched some of the character specific trailers. And it's true. Osborne's voice is different. 
You know, I thought he sounded a little different just now. He's the right now. one here. Wait till you uh-huh. hear the fourth trailer where you can definitely the, tell he's different. Oh, really? I think this might have been recorded with the old one's voice, but then whether it was the pandemic or other reasons, he is not going to be in the game, which is kind of a bigger bummer than I thought it would be, to be honest. We've built this whole way for this, and now it's like, all right, well, it'll be some other guy then. Yeah. I'm excited for Estelle and Joshua. They look amazing. Yeah, they look great. Let's go back a second. Hold on. So, like, scary Osborne face. This is fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, deal. it's just what he does. Uh, we, that is us. Up. We're going to see that again later. Also, so we're is not that our a lot cat time. next to us? She's just like, sup, you're chained up. Can't do anything about it. Yeah, she's going to actually have a conversation with him in one of these trailers as well. Oh, okay. Well, it's a very brief one. <laughs> okay. But. Maybe she'll be there to help us because it looks like she's up? just standing there. Yeah. For no reason. Just like, well. Here's some of our best bros. <laughs> yeah. Hey, our, our main it's actually. From the two games. I was going to say, it is the main couples from the two games. I was so distracted by Estelle that I didn't really well, look at it. Well, she's prominent else. and she should be because, I mean, nothing against anybody else who's here, especially like Ellie, who we have not actually seen yet yeah. in Cold Steel. But oh, like, it's true. Lloyd had a little bit of time to shine before. She yeah. has not in Cold Steel. Right, yeah. And she look. I mean, the graphics are very... I mean, I remember what Sky looks like and the art. And so oh, yeah. she's I mean, we're, definitely... We're she looks great. a decade plus later and now yeah. it gets her a chance she's to have an awesome older. Model. I like her new outfit as well. I'm kind of... I'm looking at her and Joshua both. I like their... Uh, mm-hmm. How much older are they now? Uh, Do we excellent know? Excellent question. I mean, Crossbow Games, I think, are a year and a half after Sky. Okay. Cold Steel 1, I think, is two years after Sky. So I think that at this point, we're almost like four years later between Sky 1 and Cold Steel 4. I think it's about four years. That sounds right. Cause it, and then if they're like 15, 16, that makes them like 19 or 20 now. Yeah, she's so. the seasoned veteran now. Yeah. All of a sudden. The one thing I will say, I like Josh's look overall. Mm-hmm. Um with his hair and just how many characters we have, I almost feel like he gets lost in the shuffle a little bit. Oh, yeah. It'll be interesting to because we have some dark-haired characters. <laughs> yeah. The way they've made him look in this, since he matches the style of a lot of other characters now, he, he kind of looks like a combination of three or four other ones. I don't know if it's a bad thing. It's just, to me, it's kind of like, if I had to pick him out of a lineup, I'd have to think about it for a split second before I went, oh, yeah, that's Joshua. Whereas, like, Estelle, I'm like, that's Estelle. Right. I, yeah. It's, it's Estelle. It's right there. Well, her hair it. hasn't really changed at all, whereas his is definitely not the same. Because his hair used to go like, whoop, but it kind of used to go up. Yeah, and it was also like jet black, if I'm remembering it correctly. It's been a long yeah, time it since Yeah, it was sky. like a purpley jet black color kind but of. But we know from Reen that but nobody we, knows I was what gonna the hell say, color anybody Reen, is anymore. <laughs> Reen's hair has been purple and black and blue. Oh, I oh, oh, went too far. Oh. I mean, nothing against Fee, but we've seen her new look. Yes. This is important because we get three of our characters getting exactly the same treatment that Class 7 got in uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2. Yeah. Which is they get to have their own outfits instead of school uniforms, and everybody looks much better for it. It's such an improvement. Also, hi, Randy. I yeah, did, I didn't too. miss you in the crowd. Which is fun. <laughs> I mean, I did miss you, but, I, you know, I, I saw think, you. I think this is a great look for Yuna. Yes. Yeah, the colors. It's the tomboy spirit. Good yeah. color scheme. Uh-huh. Colors are good. Also super fitting for, I mean, everybody here kind of looks Actually, everybody right. looks good. I mean, it's a glow up for everyone. Kurt's so. a little snobby rich boy, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> I mean that in a positive way, you know. <laughs> it's a Yes, yeah. they are our snooty, snooty rich boys, and like, I love it. Look at all this gold. <laughs> it might not actually, be gold. It could be brass or something. But to me, it's gold, and he's rich. <laughs> yes, true. He is from a noble family. Now, the only person who isn't here is Ash. But oh, and we, uh, what's her face? Oh yeah, and you say, but we see Muse. her later. Oh yeah, Some that, familiar that's faces true. We did. There. Yeah, we my can boy. We see them here now. You say it's in the back. We'll get a better look at her later. Oh, yeah. There's Ash over there. He's got a Ash is over there. bitch He's chilling. coat. That's mm-hmm. cool. We, I see an Emma. Emma's I see... Here. Who is that girl behind Fee's robot? Uh... Cl- Clown oh, Soleus. Who... Robot. I was like, <laughs> Sorry, Fee. <laughs> Fee's robot. Sorry, Altina. Oh, no. I-, I got Clown Soleus right, but I didn't get Altina right. That's sad. Uh, it's been too long. I clearly. imagine I should know who this is, but I don't. Yeah, I can't. At least not off the top of my head. I don't. I don't recognize her. Or but... if I do, it's somebody I recognize from a different game, and they look different in this game now. Mm-hmm. Other okay. familiar faces, not really worth talking a ton about. We know some of these characters are going to be back. Yeah, the, that was Rufus. the moment. Rufus! <laughs> like, that God. girl there, I don't know especially well. Uh, that's uh, sh- not Maribel. It's something close to that. Um, this curly haired chick. She's a Croy. And Croy. she's like one of the Croy. main antagonists in the Crossbell game. Oh, she's related to what's his face in, in the uh, the president? Croy? The Yeah. I mean, this is the, the, kind of the guy who founded Crossbell. Yeah, the the dude who like declared—did he found it or did he declare independence or was that someone else? 
I mean, effectively, I think he uh, is her. Gr- uh, he is her grandfather. And oh. she kind of like overthrew him. Oh. This is my very cursory knowledge of the Crossbell games. <laughs> Does she have um, angel wings? Is that what I'm seeing? The purple stuff? It looks like it. At the very least, like a spectral version of them, although she is floating. So Yeah, that's, uh, all of it is and terrifying. she's a staff user, so it could be magic. Also, the fact that she has curly hair, I mean, of course she's a villain. <laughs> Only villains have that hairstyle. <laughs> that's why I want to call her Maribel, because I'm thinking of Fire Emblem. Oh, oh my God! Yes, Rin's hair going white for All, reasons. Yeah, and I noticed Shirley was wearing uh, the Thor's outfit, but from the other school. There he is. And there's Ash with his very bitch and coat and Looking the nice. fur. Very casual, snazzy. And then we'll get Musa and her tiny gun. Yes. A derringer, maybe. Still winking yeah. though. Yeah, always <laughs> winking. She so looks probably charming. Very uh, ch- charming in her little little outfit. Um. And anytime you're surrounded by purple fire, I think we know you're a good person. And this little pan across <laughs> is neat, all the characters. Yeah, we got our gorgeous art. There's a wallpaper that has all of those together. Not quite as big because it has to fit it all. But Right. I, I want that wallpaper. I think I've seen it once before, actually. Uh, but it's gorgeous, and I need it in my life. Okay. All Number right. two? Story trailer. Now it starts to get real. Okay. It goes without saying, but a harsh, bitter struggle lies ahead of this nation. We find ourselves faced with a war, the like of which Erebonia has never seen. But we will prove triumphant. We will bring to bear the finest strategies and the full might of the Imperial Army. all of that a dream? Confused, huh? Don't worry. You're safe here. Where are we? Man, look at you. Still down in the dumps, huh? Oh, I guess old Class 7's in the same boat. And I think there's something that we in the new Class 7 understand even better than you do. That he, that Instructor Reen is still suffering. Even now. That's why someone... Someone needs to find him, grab him by the collar, and shake him until he snaps out of it! There's no difference anymore between old and new Class 7. The trial that awaits us will be the ultimate test of Class 7's worth. And together, we can overcome any challenge. The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 4. Think of all the people who are counting on you, waiting for you to snap out of this. Hear me? Rain Schwarzer! It looks like a no. <laughs> Having a good time. In a world ablaze with war, heroes must uh, unite. D- yes, Coming again. fall 2020. Looks We're not going to go beat by beat through all these. We'll probably not do it again until the two openings. Um, okay. But a couple things of note. Uh, Van Dyke. Yeah, he was... I was actually like, who is talking? And then it showed him. I was like, oh, yeah. He's uh, he's going to be maybe a little more prominent this time around. I'm actually also, not necessarily is, sure that's true, but it's interesting the crew they've assembled there. Yeah, or the fact that Rufus is there. I'm not thrilled about because you can't trust him. I know he's part of like the student council or whatever, the, the board, but... Rufus and Cedric. Oh, no, it's you're a blonde right. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> hate it a lot. I mean, it looks... I mean, the glasses are joining forces. Can't complain. So there's some overlap in these a little bit too. You'll see a couple of familiar scenes, but that you know, for the most part, they're pretty unique. Uh, the Game Boy trailer has a little bit of story to it, and then just shows off some of the battle system. The overlays and everything look identical to three, just like kind of like you know what we'd expect essentially. But uh, let's pull that one up. Hold on. No, I, I messed up. It's fine. I'll fix it. <laughs> uh, I'm still messing up. Don't worry. I'll fix it. There we go. <laughs> emergency. <laughs> emergency. <laughs> I kill them all. Take me back everything I lost. Stop this right now, Instructor Reed! You stand in my way. You're damn right! 
You're suffering all alone. I will protect everyone. And I'll start by saving you. There's no better way to prove how far I've come than giving you my best fight. We're giving you everything we've got! I am... the son of Baron Schwarzer. The disciple of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. I graduated from Thor's Military Academy and became an instructor at the branch campus. Together with my friends and students, I pledged to dispel the dark shadows hanging over Erebonia. Oh. <laughs> I'm Green Schwarzer of Class 7. The Legend of Heroes. Trails of Cold Steel 4. Sad piano. In a world ablaze with war, <laughs> heroes must unite. Coming October 27th. Pre-order today. So, yeah. Um, Some stuff was happening. Uh, yes. I imagine that's like... going to be earlier in the game than we think. I don't think prologue, but I think shortly thereafter. But we'll see. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. And, uh, you know, he's he's... His blade is still going to be still, even as it's cutting us in half, apparently. So that's, that's I'm terrific. not excited for that to be used against <laughs> us. I'm very concerned. I kind of am. I like it. <laughs> uh, this was just one of the character trailers I found that kind of talks about some of the guests that are coming. Oh, okay. And then I mean, there's other, there's another one later on that serves as the second opening, which is like the what was what Spyro of Erebus was set to in the third game, where it just kind of shows off the different factions as groups and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we'll see more there. Cool. But this is about our well, mostly our non-class seven folks. Excited. Want to see what they're up to? Seems quiet. We need to find out what happened in Heimdall that day, and what they're planning now. Whatever it is, it must have something to do with what's going on behind the scenes in Erebonia. I still don't understand why that data from Heimdall was sent here of all places. It's simple, really. What? I got caught for! Wheel of time! I will not falter again! Ready? Fast and It's time we entertained our guests. Let the party begin! I do hope you enjoy this Let's finish this! Dragon Ball! I'm just getting started! Omega Impulse! Fire! It ends here! Rising Sun! Let us begin! Come forth from the heavens and shine upon us! Aura Rain! Hope you're ready! Ether Strike! About time I got this started. Eat steel! Berserker! I think I can use the seven points to find out where their teacher is. Cheer up, guys! Cherubic Smile! I don't know if I'd call us heroes exactly, but we'll help out in any way we can. Now that we have this, we've got a long road ahead of us. There's no way we're letting this world come to an end. We'll change this world's fate! And now it's time to show them what we're made of. We can definitely do this. We weren't sure of ourselves before. We definitely are now. The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 4. Also, fist bumping when you're running, I feel like is a difficult... Uh... <laughs> In a yeah, world because... ablaze with war, yes, heroes I must I unite. Coming October 27th. Pre-order today. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, October 27th, okay. Oh, you know... So that seems neat. I like most of the voice choices for the ones we have not heard before. And mm -hmm. it seems most of those characters returned. I mentioned that Osborne is different. Laura is also different, so that's great. Really? Yeah. That's uh, okay. Yeah, we'll see how bad the damage is. Um, I know there's others. So we'll get one more going There's other characters we'll to... who are different? Yep. Uh, who? Yep. Uh, no. God, I remember seeing a couple more, and I don't know if I'm going to remember off the top of my head now. Remember off the top of your head? Um... Those were the two that stuck out to me. I think that was it for class seven. Of course, we okay. already had the different million voice actor in three. True, yes. Um, it was somebody else who voiced multiple characters. 
Oh. So that means they're all different. But I don't remember who. It's also kind of weird that Marisha Ray isn't back when Matt Mercer is. Yeah, that is weird. Because <laughs> they're married. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure what happened there exactly. Yeah. But uh, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, anime intro. We'll go back through these two again to point out some stuff. But, yes. Uh, I will have things to say probably. Maybe this was quiet. Yeah. It does seem quiet. I can't do much to make it louder. So. We've heard the song a couple times before, at least part of it. Yes. on esque also giant also he's <laughs> massive at least by the scale on that video <laughs> he's grown 10 times the size he's supposed to be <laughs> yeah there's a lot going on <clears throat> hold on we'll mute it okay there we go should work yeah so lovely landscapes uh-huh. Aragonia is pretty yes that's all fine mm-hmm. it's about to turn dark then it's gonna turn red yeah, I do like like the colors the composition they got going on in these scenes with this like tr- uh, this giant tree here. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I like the color. Green's going through saturation. Some things. He's not doing great. Unsu- it's fine. No, not surprising, I should say. Um, <laughs> we went. We went through the end of the last game. Yep. Uh, we got five million airships. I'm sure I'm supposed to recognize some of these. Some uh, of them definitely. Yeah. I mean, I recognize the courageous. That's hard to miss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the other ones, Quite but I... Quite a few I... of these are notable. I don't even recognize all of them. I'm sure a couple of them are from the Crossbell games. Yep. We've seen our characters in their new outfits before. This shows off the slightly different look that they have in these anime-style openings where I don't think it's so far off as to be off-putting, but it is different. I don't even dislike yeah. it. I think it looks good. It's just I wish it was a little closer to the in-game That's, models. That is my challenge, is that it... it like, if you look at the animation in the first two games, the openings are kind of simplistic. Like, there's not a lot of movement, mm-hmm. but they do look very close to the art style you still. You say pretty close. But, I'd say Kurt is this, not. I would say he, like, he's really all, like, I think he's the furthest me. removed, although you can make a case for Ash, too. I feel like Altina doesn't really... Maybe it's the hat. It could be just the hat that we took off of her a long time ago. <laughs> so I'm, like, weird. So we're not it's used weird to it. seeing yeah. her with it. Yeah. Like, Ash is also fine, though. The movement, I feel like they sacrificed the, like, character, like, well, consistency the for don't. the movement. And I, uh, Why? Don't I mean, go back here. That's, that's lewd. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating nervously. So, I mean, Campanella and McBurn, fine. They've been around for a while. Um, I remember her name. <laughs> God damn it. Why can't I think of her name right now? Uh, Vita. There we go. Is it Vita? 
also known as Misty, depending on if you're a radio freak or not. Is it Vita, though? Vita Clotilde? Or is it somebody completely different? What? No, it's definitely Wait. Vita. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is where I can, I can only jump to every like four seconds, I guess. That's going to be a pain in the ass if I'm trying to go back slowly. This is, oh, a, is a character with a different outfit than we last seen. That's Sharon. She's really only there Holy, for a moment. Okay, we'll see her I, again in the I character trailer. didn't even recognize her the she, first it, time. It flashes by really quickly. You even, had to pause it, but the only reason why I can tell is because the... the uh, Whatever that the strings are, yeah, yeah, the severing chains, severing chains, thank as you. they were, yes, yes. yes. Um, but well, she's looking cool. But yeah, if, even in this rapid fire one, it's like half the time for her. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I've never been like, wait, what, what did I just see? And I went back and I'm like, oh yeah, right, yeah. She hates us now, right? Right, yeah. She has to go against it. Oh, that, I was going to say our new girl because again, crossbell, but right. not really new, but still. Yeah, they needed to help buffer out the um, enemy roster a little bit, so she makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. We got Shirley. Clothed. In her, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. Uh, even if it is in the, uh, the the new Thor's outfit. Yeah, which yeah, is curious. Like a student. Duvali. Uh, I see Duvali and her there chicks. Still. Yeah, yeah, the Stall Ritter. They're here. The Stall Ritter and, and Arian um, Road. Um, Arian Road. Uh huh. She could be in space. This could be the planet. I think it's just bright lights, but it's hard to say. I wouldn't put anything past her. <laughs> she wants to go to space. She can go to space. She could go to space. Let's be. I'm not going to stop her. Let's be on it. Derpy oh, horse logo with pain in the ass prints. Yep. And then we got a uh, uh, person who's not here. related to anybody else. Wait. No one's related to anybody here. Wait. No, that is Rufus, isn't it? Or no, is it that doctor dude, that hot doctor where we were like, who is this? Is that hot doc? Wait, no, this is her dad, isn't it? This, I think, is Elisa's dad. Okay, yes. If it okay. is Rufus and it could or it could be, it's just because the art is off to the point where I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't the tell. The robot behind is a hint, though. Right. I, I, I do think it's Elisa's dad now that I'm looking at this a little closer. Plus, it doesn't have all the floofy stuff that Evil Rufus Claire, normally has. Yes. Who we're never going to get to date now because <laughs> if she is changing sides, it won't be till the end of this game. Yeah. She's too loyal to the Chancellor. Yep. Oh, and what's his face? That's um, the one. Scarecrow. Um, so, uh... Why am I looking at his name? Lecter and Ooh, whoever else Lecter, Lecter voices. He's another character's voice as well is also oh, different. Oh, he, he's, he's different too. Yeah, from what I read. Oh, no. And I think there might be one more. Jesus. Now, in a game with like 75 important characters with voices, three or four is not the end of the world or anything, but it is a bummer. I don't think there's any two ways about it. Yeah, plus Lecter this had a good Rufus. voice actor. And, and I was going to say, this is definitely Rufus because <laughs> mm -hmm. you got the sword. And he's fancy. You got the fa fancy ponytail. Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's Osborne. He looks absolutely He's really happy. He's also <laughs> demonic. Buff as fuck in this shot. I was gonna say he Jesus. is. He looks like Lord Genome. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a big robot like Lord Jerome. <laughs> oh my god, he have, really you know, is. Our shots of our boy Reen, who's not Reen. He has a mask on. We know what happened to other characters who have died and then had masks. Yes. But then he doesn't anymore, and then they have that perfectly timed yell to the song. Once again, they do a really good job of timing out the intro themes with stuff that's happening mm -hmm. here and the character trailers. Then everybody's doing their cool stuff, you know. Yeah, we got our S crafts in anime form. It is going to be interesting what the fuck party composition looks like in this game. It seems <laughs> as though new class seven is still going to be pretty prominent. Maybe the group you go through most of the game with. You'd have to think just because there's so many characters to juggle, others are going to be guests frequently. And then at the end of the game, I'll be honest with you right now, I have no idea what that party looks like. Hold on, i got to stop yep. this. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 there's a lot to talk oh, about, including uh, that. God damn you it. You didn't see I, it the first time, did you? I did see it, but I didn't say anything because uh, I was like, I hope I saw that wrong no, because it's fine. Nobody God dies. damn nobody it. Nobody dies. Oh, no one stays dead in this franchise. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. I'm Auto just going to be screaming Auto's into the dead. night. Where's Who? Otto's anime intro? Who? Otto? Oh, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> I have okay. to say, like, what is happening with Gaius's hair here? Like, they're supposed to... Oh, yeah, I kind of see the ponytail over there, but not really. Yeah, like, you can just tell it's not quite on point. Like, his hair is beautiful Bird's in the actual buff. art. Also, yeah, his bird is... Uh... Bird looks kind of like Zekrom. Take that as you will. <laughs> it kind of does, actually. You can't help but notice... I don't think they can see my mouse pointer when I'm recording. I think that's oh. invisible to them. But you can't help but notice Elliot and his violin in the middle of the screen. <laughs> in front of Elisa. right there. It's they fine. They pushed Elisa behind Elliot. This is fine. This is what I want. 
Can Win you believe throw. it? I can, and I love it. No, but however, Emma is right in the fucking foreground. Here she is. Yay! I I like that we have these two characters in the front, in front of Elisa. I no approve. glasses, looking cute. Yeah, it is cute. Machias looking older and mature. Yes, that's not fine. gonna be a jerk I wanna, anymore. I don't want to skip past Sarah and Fee, but they look like they did last game. You know, yeah, I mean, everybody pretty much does, but right. they're kind of hiding in the back. Yeah, there's a million. And Laura's also Laura. in the front. They put our girlfriends in the front. That's nice of them. <laughs> the waifus for life and, and then my yeah, boy. Here is um. Here is Milliam, but there's my boy Eustace, so I'm just gonna ignore that. And Crow, I think. I is that think... Crow in the background? Who is that back in the back? I think that's Crow because there's no one else in the class in the old class seven with white hair like that. And this is clearly the the class the old class seven entourage. So I'm gonna assume that's who that is. I think this is me going on predictions, which I still have my lower one out there, which hasn't borne fruit yet. But I got one more game. <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, about her being a mech knight at some point. Uh, uh -huh. I don't think Milliam is gonna be back as herself. I think this is to throw us off. I would sure like but that if that was the case. But I don't think she's going to be case. gone, gone either. Oh. I don't know what that means exactly. Okay. It could be that, uh, you know, she's been turned into the sword of the end. Oh, yeah. Maybe she is sentient. Maybe, Maybe she's like Altina the master her? sword. Yeah, you know, it could be. I, don't know, <laughs> I was hoping she would just stay in the, well, She's not going to be dead. But, you and know, we're going to get to the other people who are dead. They're in the next trailer, sort of. Wait, And we'll talk what? about that. No. Kind of. No. In a way is that's it meant who to, I think it is? In a way that's meant to imply that they're dead. But oh, we'll get okay. To that. Okay. Anyways, class seven looking great. Oh, hey. I forgot about this. Yeah. <laughs> well, did. they kind of sneak in at the end. You're still thinking about everybody that you just saw in the class seven I was seven thinking shot. about my boy, Eustace. Not going to lie. Fucking Ellie, let's go. <laughs> I am excited for these, Can for I more date of Ellie? these characters. <laughs> uh, yes. Date the Ellie. Kia, the Kia girl sounds a lot older than she looks, which is a little weird. Here's the brights. <gasps> the brights. There they be. I assume I if they're all here, Renny is maturing into a nice young woman. Uh-huh. I think we have to have Cassie's at some point. <gasps> if we have Cassie's in this game, that would be amazing because he's fantastic. I don't know why. I mean, I can imagine a few reasons why, given his connections and how omnipresent he has been and the fact that he's so fucking good. But yes. maybe it's going to take someone of his level... To settle this, <laughs> not to settle it himself, but like to have a role in it somehow, whether it's a diplomatic one or a forceful one. I don't know. But all the brights are here, so why not Cassius and his dumbass mustache? <laughs> I love his mustache. You take that back. <laughs> no. His mustache is terrible. <laughs> it is not, it's not meant to be loved. <laughs> okay. Fair. All right. One more I, to go. I, I do like the Gurren Lagann vibes from this. This is the one good yeah, thing this in this little... opening. That is so Gurren Lagann yes. right there. <laughs> <laughs> and piercing the heavens and all yes, that jazz. Yes. 100%. All right. This is the intro that I kept trying to play when we were setting up. It wouldn't stop despite my changing the settings, telling it not to autoplay. And I now think it's it good won't now. play because. All right. Another cool intro. Characters. And we'll go back through it a little bit by a little bit. Just to look at them all because it's a lot pretty quickly. Uh-huh. Oh my god, Thanos. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. No! <laughs> Fucking Spider-Man. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> Who would Spider-Man be in this game? Elliot? <laughs> Elliot with a spine, yeah. <laughs> I like it. <sighs> the songs are always so good. Yeah. Look at that art! So good. See, this is what I wanted the opening to look like. Yeah, there's no talk in this one. It's kind of talk here. Yeah, we'll still go back to it. Yeah, I do. I want yeah, people to kind of be quiet. Yep. You know, shooting people with that stuff. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it's fine. We got a class 7 fashion really quickly. Yeah. There's five of them. Here's four more. Oh, Emma without the glass. So that is going to be a thing then. It looks then. like the thing. Aww. These three are together again. Uh huh. I still want needed to be in my party as a good person. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, what's her face? Good Grandma. Now Ro we switch Ro to the Ro evil side. Rosalia? Whoa, we got curly haired chick. Oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah, she's looking upset. Yeah, she's oh, I thought maybe Googly oh. would join us. Maybe she still will. Maybe yeah, she, maybe. According to this, she is not. Right. We got Arian Rhodes still. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Our crossbell folks. Look at them, folks. yeah. They're looking good. 
Oh, Shara. Shara? Yeah, Shara got it. Oh, yeah! Now, you can't bring everybody from all the games into this. I mean, I, I understand. I think it's pretty cool to find the chosen. I don't really have any people. But. Wait, was that Million as a sword? Did I just see that right? Uh, that's what she turned into at the end of the last game, so probably. <sighs> that means she's definitely coming back at some point. Whoa! And we hadn't actually have Reen in the intro, so. Uh, <laughs> that is some vision art. God, I love the art is. in this game. Yeah, it's, it's so. Punished Reen. <laughs> it's so very good. Punished Snake. <laughs> Alright, it just ends abruptly, which is kind of weird, but that's fine. We'll go back through one more time. You replay. Yeah, the music, music sounded cool. I'm all muted. I'll just quiet it down. Uh, I'll probably go find that later. Because we're going to um, keep pausing it. So yes, if you're the I, music, I do want us to be pausing it as we go. Yeah, we can go faction by so faction. So is enough. that the crimson, oh, up. Hold on. the whatever the F flower that was causing problems? It would seem. Yeah, I don't remember a, what it turns it's called. It turns into Alino petals. Oh my god, it's Alino petals. We're going to purify the world. <laughs> and we got some smoke going in the sky because war and And we're going to run death. into Lisa just to make the circle complete. <laughs> Hopefully there's another dungeon theme based off of this. So we've seen I these outfits, so. but this is our best look at them. Yep. Nuna looking great. Yep. Kurt looking great. It's a fitting look for him. Altina, yep. no qualms. Mm -hmm. We'll probably take off the hat, though. I no actually don't dislike any of these. Yeah, all of these are good, actually. They're all appropriate. Although, all I feel like... Power schemes are good. They do really good with the glow-ups, because the same thing happened with two, where I had like yeah. no problems with anyone's Correct. outfits. There's a couple I didn't love, but I didn't hate anybody's outfit in two. Yeah. This crew looking about the same, and we saw their different looks in three, so we're not yeah. shocked by any of this, but it's nice to see them all here. Of course, Yusis and Machias are next to each other. <laughs> of course they are. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Never not. Everybody's looking good. Yeah. We come to this screen. Now, I have a problem with this screen, and I want you to tell me what it is. Uh, is Celine standing on <laughs> Emma's Celine hair? Celine does appear to be balanced on Emma's hair. That is stupid. Yes. Now, they definitely just composited that so I that it looks so. like that. There's no way that that's like serious. actually a thing. Yeah, I'm sure you could be like, it's magic. I, don't, don't stop. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't do magic to make your cat float on your hair. But once I accept that this isn't real whatsoever, I do like it quite a bit. So I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Well, so it's, it's also weird. Like, why couldn't they just put her a little lower? I mean, the, the bird is in the right spot. She doesn't need to be in like the floor because the then you won't be able to see her. She but she could be on like... Her shoulder and where do you fit her? on the art then without oh. it being like behind Emma's head so I get it I don't have any real yeah. beef with it I just think it's funny because we have to kind of <laughs> double take at it like <laughs> yeah I definitely what? didn't <laughs> notice that the first time uh, I didn't know if she was like floating on her hair mm -hmm. I vaguely noticed that there was a cat somewhere in the shot but look at his bird I still don't know what the bird's name is but Zio Zio or is it Zero who, who knows who can say <laughs> but he looks vicious everybody here is majestic yes and Emma, no glasses, is definitely a winner. We've had that come up in the plot when yes. we dated Emma. Oh, it also looks like she's got like a little moon pendant or something in her hair. Yeah, she's Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon. No. Not a whole lot new here, uh, but it's yeah, fine. We got our... Uh, I still prefer with the Admiral hat. Not a big deal, though. <laughs> small, small gripe. Very small. It's very, very small. It definitely will not impact our enjoyment of this game. Join my fucking party, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I want all of you on my team. And then I want you both to step on me. I'm not even usually a step on me person. I just think it's funny to say. And these, if I was going to pick anybody, these two both can step on me. <laughs> I mean, there's you, where it is. You, you like what you Fight like. Fight me I in guess. the comments. <laughs> <laughs> or join me in being stepped on. Either way, I don't give a shit. And I'll just watch from the side and cackle. Roselia. Roselia. God damn it. Roserade. I, Ro I did pronounce her name. Rose Leah, but uh, that's not right. Sweet baby child who's a thousand years old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so our old pal of the Iron Bloods, except we have a new Iron Blood to take the place of the dead Iron Blood. Wait, there's a dead Iron Blood? Yeah, Milliam. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Right. Maybe. Maybe because she's does. not. She's like dead, but even though I want her to be dead, she will not be dead because the game will spite, beam, spite me. No but anyway, dead. No, no, no one. No, no, no. Even though I want them to be, they won't be. Crossbell Troublemakers, two yeah. of which we saw in the last game. Mm -hmm. Still no clothes here. Look at these fucking abs. She's Jesus Christ. Ripped. Yeah, I'm concerned. I mean, for, for our safety. Um. <laughs> I think it's just the little cleft of her lip here, but it looks like she's doing like kitty face. Oh my I God, like it, it kind of does. <laughs> kitty face. 
She is kitty face. You can face. see as you get a little closer. I was her lips say, it is going to zoom in. It zoomed out. It was yeah. kind of like... Mm. Jubilee. Oh, she's not in her armor. No, she's not. Maybe I missed she, that the first time. So the question is like, is she going to like, is the stalwart going to leave but still like help the bad guys because they're kind of disenfranchised but they can't turn on Aryan Road because they're too devoted? I don't know. They were having some hesitation at the very end of the last game. Yeah, they were. And just because certain alignments exist here doesn't mean they hold true for the whole game. We saw a couple people in the last character intro that didn't necessarily keep that alliance the whole time. Mm-hmm. Sharon looks very true. Very scary. And I yeah. don't think we're gonna get any more tea, and that's sad. <laughs> no more tea for us. No tea. We just get to be miserable. Here's this crew. Uh Crow, I like the new outfit. Uh I like that you're not the Azure Siegfried or whatever memory blob from the last game. This looks like a boy band that doesn't care. <laughs> they do. Everybody here oh, is just like a boy band that doesn't I only care. just now noticed that George is hanging out back there, yeah, too. Yeah, well, we know he's a bad Hi, guy now. you he's dick. He's the one who killed the characters that are about to come up on screen in a second. Kill. Killed. <laughs> <laughs> I might have believed it if it was... So, uh, we didn't say anything about Aaron Robert. It's fine. She's awesome. Yeah. If it was just Victor, mm -hmm. I might have bought it. I might have there bought it, too. There is zero... Chance. There's zero Olivier chance that, is dead. No, yeah, there's no absolutely zero. no way. No way. No way. That's not even a prediction. Mm -mm. I'm not saying I know what happens in this game. I've been avoiding spoilers. I'm just yeah, telling you either. right now, as somebody who's not seen spoilers and has not played four and avoided the spoilers for the Japanese version, you don't do Olivier like that. Nope. Absolutely not. There's Maybe no way. even Toval. Victor and Toval would have been if like, it was just the wow, two that's kind of shitty, but like, Victor was like, already like yeah. coughing up blood all the time. Right. Because he died at McBurn's hand, but he didn't, but his internal organs did. Yep. I would have been like, wow, that, that's it. harsh, but like, man, like Toval had been kind of pushed to the side a little bit in three, and Victor was already dying anyways. Right. It's not going to happen this way to Olivia, just period. Nope, 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 nope. You can try and trick me in the comments, <laughs> but you won't. But we're not going to fall for it, y'all. Oh, I forgot to pause. Oh. I was distracted. <laughs> Hold on. Go back to our friends. Hold on. We'll, we'll just Aryan Road. Cool. Yeah. Very, very Still cool. Still badass. Play yes. the music. Everybody here is looking great. Yeah, we're looking cool. We got oh, the crew. Got gun. Maybe, oh, it looks like Randy might even be able to join up with his friends again. Because in the last game, he was sidelined the whole time. It seems like he's going to be, yeah. I think that's going to be, be part nice. of how they reintroduce them at some point. And it looks like he'll join the party because we saw his uh, S-Craft. Oh, yeah, we did. So Man, there's been a lot going on tonight. Because he was all over the place in 3. We saw him a yeah, ton. Yeah, he but... was everywhere. And I wanted Reen to date him, but it... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't pan out. But it didn't pan out because he was never around. And now he's in a dungeon around. depressed all the time. How are they ever going to date? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and everybody else we've pretty much seen to this point. I mean, yeah, Ellie and for... Kia are relatively new. Right. To us. Yes. In this format. Yes. But... And then we pan to one of the Earl folks. Mm -hmm. There's the whole team. Yep. We already saw him in the other trailer, so nothing here is like, whoa, look at that outfit chain or whatever, but. Right. I, I love recognize, Estelle's look. I love her. I actually really like her design a lot, especially seeing it here in the glorious art. It's really yep. good. It's a good glow up, 100%. Because mm -hmm. it's true to her original outfit, but it's like spruced up too. Yeah. It's Which mature. Which is kind of true it's of older. all of them. Yeah, well, that's actually that's a good point. They all kind of have the same color scheme. Well, except for. Uh, Tita, she does not. But I know, but, tough, but this outfit just is, saw Tio. I know. <laughs> I was like, wait, but her, but this outfit's significantly better anyway than that red. I was gonna call it abomination. That's a little harsh, <laughs> but <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, it was confusing too because she looked like she was five, but I know she was not five in that game, and it was just confusing. But she was also five. <laughs> but she was also five. She was five and not five at the same time. It's actually confusing when you think about it. <laughs> It's actually really confusing. I don't know why they would do that to us. Um, but That's yeah, a fair question. everyone looks fantastic. I, I don't recognize the girl on the far right. I'm assuming she's somehow connected to she's, Joshua uh, and Estelle. Relatively important, yes. She's relatively important. Okay. You know, one day when I go back and play the Sky You're going to have to. I'm going to have to do it. You know, we could, well. You'll we, still pick up some stuff. We could do it for the channel. We I've could long do it pushed for against it just because. We're gonna. People would have to accept the fact that we're not gonna talk the whole time because that's almost impossible. We would kill ourselves, <laughs> just almost straight literally. up. Literally, almost literally. So I mean, I would be down for it, but we also, also... Have to go through Crossbell. Yeah, we either do we can do the Crossbell. fan translations, which by the time we finish this, will both have been finished and I think ready to go, or maybe we'll get some kind of announcement about them being localized here. One can dream. Yeah. In theory, there's also Hajimaki, which came out I think a little under two years after Cold Steel Four in Japan. 
Mm-hmm. So I guess we'd be looking at like summer 2022, if my guess. if the, These two games follow Japan's schedule pretty closely. That This is a year after the last one. Yep. So hopefully. So yeah, that sounds about right. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I've sort of vaguely seen stuff about that game as well. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I just know there's some new people, new characters. There's some weird lolly girl or something. But anyway. Uh, don't worry yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, I know it's nothing inevitable. about it. I don't even know like what country they're in. Is that supposed to be the other country that we're always like in I, conflict with? There's nothing actually about see? it. I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Yeah, so it's I fair. No I don't even know. And yeah, we Very saw little. this before. But yeah. It was still neat. We see some objects back to back, as always. <laughs> as a as tradition. Always. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Once again, purple fire. Yep. Good guy. Bacon hair. Not a big deal. <laughs> he does have bacon hair. He has I bacon hate hair. It. it is bacon hair, and it's terrible, and I hate it. This artwork is beautiful. There I are two this. arguments I will not accept in the comments. Who's stepping on me and bacon hair? <laughs> These are facts. They are yes, canon. They are canon. Yes. So. All right. We're back. We did it. We now get to talk and rant about all the things. Uh, you start because oh. I have a lot swirling in my brain right now and I can't sort it. <laughs> I don't have a ton. I mean, I am excited. Um, I am feeling more excited now that it is really just a few days away. Like really, even like last week, I was like, "Ooh, I'm starting to feel a little more excited now that it's like really close." Yeah, I generally don't get too excited for games long before release. Um, mm-hmm. Just because they're too far off and it's too hard. That's true of anything, too. Like, I have a big trip coming up. I mean, I'm excited knowing it's six months out, say, but I'm not like, yeah. oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, when it's April and the right. trip's in October. Like, I, I, <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of the same way where now that it's getting very close, for us, it's, of course, Friday, as we mentioned, and it's coming out Tuesday. By the time you watch this, it's tomorrow. It is starting to sink in. It also has not helped that COVID's been happening this entire time. This has been an election year, so my work's been a goddamn disaster. Mm -hmm. So those have also been hampering my excitement just because it's like, well, when that comes out, it'll be nice, but it's not out right now, so I don't care about it. Right. So that's what you'll flip. It won't distract me uh, from everything until it's actually here in my hands. So I am a smidge disappointed we're not going to get Chloe. Even maybe so more than Shara. But again, I have no qualms with the five characters they took. Chloe, 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 Chloe. Who is that again? I don't think you got far enough in the sky to meet her. Okay. Maybe you did. I don't remember how far you got. I know it wasn't super far. I'm gonna look her up because spoilers. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to see what she looks like. Okay. Because I, I don't, I don't know. I see, I d- she I... has a pretty. I mean, if you look at her in the first game, she'll have a look that you'll either recognize or you won't. It won't Wait! be like in between. Purple hair girl. Yeah. With a yes. Bird. Okay. Yes, Another with the bird. With a pet. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I do remember her. Sorry, it took me a minute. Uh, what would happen if her bird and Gaius's bird fought? <laughs> Who would win? Hmm. I feel like her bird was pretty devastating, if I remember right. Uh, okay, yes, I do remember that. They both have their moments, though. That'd be a tough fight. Hmm. No one survives that fight. <laughs> Everyone yeah. dies. I'm surprised that she hasn't shown up, because she seemed important in Sky, from what I, I, I saw. I think she makes an appearance in one of the Crossbell games. Oh. Uh. Okay. I don't know how long. Haven't played him still. Mm. Was hoping to. I mean, I mentioned at the end of the three playthrough that I was really hoping to at least play. What is playing in the background? It doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> I know what it is. It's the background that's looping and it's just showing me over and over again that it's looping. Okay, let's click off of that so it's not weird. <laughs> I just see a progress bar at the bottom of the screen. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah, I wanted to play Zero. That fan release had been finished right around when we were uh, finishing up three. Yeah. But uh, what happened in 2020 has made that impossible. Yes, 100%. I haven't been playing a whole lot of anything, to be perfectly honest. So. <sighs> yeah, I, I hear you. Uh, we much... still will. If we are going to commit to doing Sky, we'll certainly do the Crossbell games too, but we'll do them in that order. There's no reason to do Crossbell and then go back to Sky. <laughs> yeah, that seems extra silly. Um, uh, I mean, I would we'll be. See. I would certainly be down for it if we did. But people would have to, you know, just be aware that we're not going to talk the whole time. Yeah. And we'll have to get some references in reverse, which is, it, it's fulfilling in its own way. I don't think it's as good as going through them in the right order. Don't get me wrong. But it is still kind of neat to go backwards now. Because I went back and played a bit of Sky again after playing the first two Cold Steels. Mm-hmm. There's a couple mentions of other continents that kind of flew past me when I played Sky originally. Because I don't know. You know, you're paying so much attention to Libero that you're not really looking at the other continents. But then you look back, and it's like, oh. Erebonia sucks. And, oh, that place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah. Oh, what city is that right near the border of the two? Oh, that's a bad place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so, anyways. 
Yeah. I'm excited. I think the excitement will come through on the playthrough. It's what everybody here has been jonesing for. We know that's where the lion's share of our viewership comes from. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're not doing things specifically for the viewers. Not to say we're not doing things for them, but like we're doing it because we love it. And that's the main point of this. If we didn't yeah. love the games, we wouldn't be playing them because mm-hmm. that's stupid. Mm-hmm. We actually tried doing that at the start of this channel a little bit, like playing through something new that was hot as a release and then like not really enjoying it and still slogging through anyways. Yeah. No more. It's not worth Life's it. Too short. You just got to play what you like. Yep. I'm hoping for, I don't know how they, they can't retcon the curse thing from three, but I hope they make it better. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to go into more detail on it, and I okay. hope that it's handled well. I hope so, too. That's... I think it will be. Overall, the stuff they've like done so. in world building and plot has been pretty damn solid. Mm-hmm. Um, relatively cohesive overall. Even if you've missed pieces, they do a good enough job explaining it in the other games to kind of at least leave us here not wondering what the hell's happening. Like mm-hmm. Again, we have crossbell-sized gaps in a lot of our knowledge, but there's enough allusions to it that you can kind of make sense of it. Yeah. I'm hoping and I'm expecting a good ending. Yes, I am also hoping that. I mean, it is called the end of Saga or yeah. whatever, so I have to think they're going to tie up a lot of those loose ends. And I hope they do it well, because I feel like there's a lot floating around right now, p- particularly with that curse from 3. So. And what's happening to Reed? <laughs> and also that. <laughs> Which we saw in multiple trailers. Again, yes. they can't not address it for too long. This is his arc. Yeah, it's going to be weird. It'll be interesting to see... This game is going to be weird that we're not going to have him as our main character for at least a chunk of the story, I would imagine. You would think. Certainly yeah. not the prologue. Yeah. I would think. I would think. I mean... If there even is a prologue, it could just be in media res where it's like, all right, now we're escaping Hell Castle. And also true. Oh, yeah, because we ended Instructor like right Reen's in the back there somewhere and I think Milliam's dead and we need to get the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> could be that. Or I mean, uh, there's a lot of different routes they could go and that's... The blessing and the curse of the ending of the last game being so abrupt is that they could jump right back into that moment or they could scoot ahead a month or I don't know. Mm -hmm. Those scenes that we got in the one story trailer make it seem like it's going to be shortly thereafter, like the next day or something. Yeah. Wait, did we hear Osborne's new voice? I feel like I missed it. Uh, No, I think the only place I heard that was in another like side trailer where it was just like, here's a character and they say a line. Oh. Which I didn't pull for this because it was a bunch of them. I, I see. Okay, I, I, I might look that up separately then because I'm curious. It's a tough sell because I think that voice is very hard to duplicate. Like if you needed to duplicate Laura Bailey's voice, there's a couple other voice actresses that sound a lot like her and you could have a reasonable facsimile and not miss too much. Yeah. Or like I thought Matt Mercer did a good job filling in as Kanji for Troy Baker when he ended up coming in for the anime and a couple other things. I thought those were close enough where you're like, this is different, but it doesn't distract. Mm-hmm. This is going to be distracting. <laughs> oh, and that's dear. not even really the new voice actor's fault, nor do I think the performance I heard in those couple lines was bad, but it's just one of those very really distinct voices that... And the way he said his lines was so distinct too. It's like the deliveries were distinct and, and the voice itself is very just. It's like trying to... And we could finally hear him in three. Jameson Price or whatever. Like, Pretty much, like yeah. yeah. Which we had in reverse. We had Jameson try and come in and duplicate Matthew, I was going to say McConaughey. It's, <laughs> it's close to that. <laughs> Matthew I McConaughey. Name. All right, but all right. Victor, all right. our Sade's old voice actor, was gone in three. That's true, and yeah. Jameson Price replaced him, and it's not bad. But again, it's one of those voices that's too different, and now it's like, oh. It's a, it's a bummer. I've said it multiple times. You know? mm-hmm. Is it going to detract from my enjoyment of the game overall? No, yeah. but it I is I do want to hear Laura's voice, too. I think there was one clip that had her in it, too, because I think I realized, and it actually might have been one of the ones we watched. Um, oh, okay. I have to go back through and see them all. I think I remember the moment. I just don't remember if it was one of these trailers or a different one, but I heard a line of hers. It's closer. Okay. I don't know. I mean, Laura's not going to be in it a ton. I wouldn't think. Yeah. She's going to be in it as much as she's possibly in it because I'm going to put her in the party every time it gives me the opportunity. <laughs> but she can't be a main character, a main main. Right. Um, that's why it's, I think, the most upsetting about Osborne specifically. We built three games worth of arc. For of this, this villain. villain, yeah. And now and we're going to get him front and center and now he's going to be different. When you're going to go will up be against weird. him and hopefully finally get to overcome him, it's going to be a different voice actor. It's just, eh. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame when they can't bring back the same cast for anything, for anime, for games. It's and this is the danger of this having lasted for so long. Let's be perfectly honest here. <laughs> yeah, this game's goes, been around for a long time. More time there is time. for people to get out of the industry to die. <clears throat> Say Nort. Uh, 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 yeah, all really, yeah, all of them. <laughs> He's had like three different voice actors now. 
Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> three different voice actors for three different Xehanorts. Yes. And they've all died. <laughs> They're all dead. It's the Xehanort curse. Don't voice him or you're going to die. Even young Xehanort's dead, and that's weird because he's useless. So that doesn't make any gonna sense. I was going to say, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> all right excuse you there's plenty of other stuff we'll talk about probably as we're going through the intro and whatnot as far as expectations and predictions and all that jazz but uh it starts tomorrow again down in the comments i'll let you know if we are going to be able to go live either way the episode is going to post around six or seven o'clock pacific time nine or ten eastern on tuesday night because that's when michaela gets home from work and we can do it also hopefully i'll have the game on time i don't know why i wouldn't for the most part pre-ordering on amazon's been pretty good about having them on time but we are seeing a lot of delays in the postal service right now overall. Amazon's not the postal service, but even so, there's a lot of mail. A lot, mm -hmm. of mail. a lot of mail. So hopefully I have it. Occasionally, I even get it like Monday night. Ooh. We'll see. Yeah. If that's the case, I think we will still wait, but I can have the game installed and booted up and ready to go. So like the second you come home, you're like, push record, push record, push record. <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. All right. That is it. Thank you for watching. Let us know your thoughts below. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for part one.